my precious child. Amidst the clamor of this day and meet me in the stillness, allow your soul to exhale releasing the burdens you carry. In this sacred space, turn your gaze upon the abundant blessings that surround you, blessings that can be so easily obscured. When the shadows of life loom large, your very existence is a miracle, a sacred gift, the breath that fills your lungs, the heart that is within your chest. These are not mere biological functions, but tangible expressions of my sustaining grace. You fearfully and wonderfully made a masterpiece crafted by my own hands. Never doubt your worth or purpose, for they are eternally sealed by my unfailing love for you. As you navigate the twists and turns of your earthly journey, remember that you do not walk alone. My presence envelops you like a cloak of light, shielding you from the darkness that seeks to assail you. When the enemy whispers lies into your mind attempting to erode your peace and confidence, boldly declare the truth of who you are in me. You are more than a conqueror empowered by the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead in moments of worry or fear. When the weight of responsibility threatens to overwhelm you and anchor your heart to the unshakable foundation of my faithfulness, I am your provider, your healer, your defender, no force in heaven or on earth can snatch you from my mighty hand. Trust that I am working all things together for your good, even when the path ahead seems shrouded in uncertainty as the dawn of each new day breaks. Let your first utterance be one of gratitude for a thankful heart is a magnet for my blessings. Attracting provision and favor like a flower attracts the warmth of the sun when you choose to fix your thoughts on what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable you create an atmosphere conducive to miracles expectancy. Rose's faith is ignited and the impossible becomes possible. I am delighted to hear your voice. My child, pour out your heart to me without hesitation or reserve. Speak to me of your hopes and dreams. Your fears and struggles entrust your deepest longings to my care. Knowing that I am able to do immeasurably more than you could ever ask or imagine. My ear is attentive to your every prayer, and my hand is extended to guide and support you in a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable. Find rest in the unchanging nature of my love for you, human affection, may waver relationships, may shift like sand beneath your feet, but my devotion to you remains steadfast and sure. If you have faith in God, please like and share this video, because I will be there with you. The rivers won't be able to carry you away when you travel through the waterways, and the waters won't be able to carry you away when you go through the rivers too, when the time comes. I will be there to accompany you as you make your way across the ocean, even if you do not take any measures and walk directly into the flames. You will not get burned and the fire will not cause you to catch fire. This is because the fire cannot cause you to catch fire. 
This is the case even if you do not make any effort to protect yourself in any way. Jesus predicts that the coming year will be one in which you will be showered with incalculable benefits loved beyond the powers of mankind and affluent. Beyond anything that you could have ever dreamed of having at any point in your life. In addition to this, he guarantees that all of these things will occur for you during the following year. Jesus is removing the tears of remorse and misery that you have repressed for such a significant amount of time. He is wiping them away with his robe. He is well familiar with all that you have been going through you shouldn't. Let this opportunity pass without making the most of it by basking in the peace that lasts forever and the gifts that are waiting for you right now. You can show your love and blessings by giving thanks up to $100. You currently have guardian angels looking out for you. God is actively working on your behalf, and holy folks in heaven are having conversations about you. All of these things are happening right now. You are to blame for all that has happened. You are going to have one of the finest weeks of your life, thanks to the grace of God, and this week is going to be one of the best weeks of your life. You may anticipate gaining a wide variety of benefits from Him, which is something to look forward to. Prayers will be heard and answered. Previously blocked off channels will become accessible. New connections will emerge. Objectives will be accomplished and goals will be accomplished and goals will be realized. I am reorganizing things in a way that will ultimately be to your advantage in the long run. So please bear with me for you are my fortress and you are my sanctuary in times of need. Lord, make this known to the entirety of the world, but I will sing of your might. God makes the promise that everything in your life that has been sad or upsetting for you over the years, and that which has caused you to cry, will be taken away and replaced with joy laughter, love, and an endless supply of other benefits. If you choose to accept this promise, your life will be transformed into one that is full of happiness, laughter, and love. It is now possible for you to have access to the energy that is necessary for healing and restoration and you are in store for some of the most productive and lucrative days of your life right now. If you take advantage of this opportunity, you will be able to heal and restore yourself. There is no way for us to be severed from the love of God that is found in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Lord, not even by enormous heights, not even by great depths and not by anything else in all of creation. This is because the love of God is contained within Christ Jesus, because the love of God is contained within Christ Jesus. There is no way for us to be severed from the love of God that is found in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You are about to experience a blessing that will change the course of your life. As a result, you should get ready to accept it with trust and thankfulness. The day after tomorrow is the day you are about to experience a blessing that will alter the direction that your life takes. As a result, you should get ready to accept it. 
The hand of God is bringing back opportunities that had been lost and restoring time that had also been lost. And tonight, you are going to be the receiver of some rather odd happenings as a result of this. As a direct result of what God is going to do in your life. Your opponents are going to be taken back and the stability of your world is going to be brought into doubt. This is because God is about to accomplish something in your life that is of enormous size and it will take place in your life. Jesus says, prepare yourself for an extraordinary dodge of miracles for as you step into this dazzling new season, your life shall be drenched in an enchanting tort of freedom, prosperity, and abundance. Type Amen if you believe in Jesus. Embrace the exhilarating anticipation coursing through your veins for behold, a breathtaking flood of miracles is about to cascade into your life. As you embark upon this wondrous new chapter, prepare to be immersed in our kaleidoscope of freedom where your spirit soars unrestricted prosperity. Abundance flows effortlessly like a majestic river and boundless possibilities await at every turn. Open your heart and soul, for the floodgates of wonder are about to burst. Open drenching your existence with an inspiring experiences and blessings. Beyond your wildest dreams, prepare to witness the grand spectacle of restitution, for I shall unleash upon you. A torrential downpour of recompense washing away. The stolen years orchestrated by the nefarious adversary and the desolate, mistreated moments. Endured in solitude shall be illuminated with an ethereal radiance. Type Amen if you believe in Jesus. Eleven. Eleven, prepare yourself to be drenched in a sublime downpour of blessings where love flows like a soothing cascade. As your financial skies transform into a shimmering tapestry of prosperity, praise for the unrivaled favor that dances upon your path like a celestial ballet you have yet to witness. Type 11 11, if you want to affirm. God says prepare yourself for an extraordinary journey towards opulence, as fortune is bound to embrace you tightly ushering in an era of immense wealth. Pipped your money cascading towards you, akin to an unending river of abundance that surges and swells with each passing day fueling an exponential growth that knows no bounds. Type Amen if you believe in Jesus. Get ready to buckle up for a wild roller coaster ride of awe, inspiring marvels that will leave you speechless in the forthcoming quintet of days. Brace yourself for an extraordinary influx of blessings that will drop your jaws to the floor. Brace your heart and mind as doors swing open with a resounding bang, ushering in a cascade of magnificent opportunities. Prepare to witness bodies mended, rejuvenated and revived as a wave of healing energy surges through the air and holds on tight to your metaphorical. That to cause an abundance of financial prosperity is about to over your way, sweeping you off your feet. As if that wasn't enough, 
Get ready to bask in the radiant flow of favor like you've never experienced before. Jesus, the divine enchanter of existence, transcends the boundaries of mere necessity to embody every facet of fulfillment. Like a sumptuous feast that satiates the hunger of your soul, he fills the void within leaving you nourished with purpose. He flows like a crystalline stream quenching the parched corridors of your spirit and thirst, ravages your being. Behold, for he stands as the singular key to unlocking the gates of eternal contentment and prosperity. Illuminating the path that leads to a life adorned with unbridled joy, Prepare yourself for an extraordinary revelation, for the next door swings wide open a realm of unimaginable possibilities awaits you. In this wondrous realm, the very essence of borrowing and struggling feeds into oblivion as you effortlessly navigate a world brimming with abundance. No longer shy, you yearn for what is just out of reach for your path shall be paved with serendipitous opportunities, unveiling a future of unbounded prosperity. So my friend, step through that door with a heart filled with anticipation for it. It shall usher you into a realm where all your desires converge effortlessly and the pursuit of your dreams becomes a symphony of harmonious success. I am quite happy with where I am at with this letter. In the end, the fact that I'm happy to share this information with you suggests that finally things have gotten better. You should be very proud of yourself and cherish this wonderful achievement which shows how dedicated, hardworking, and determined you are to succeed. The purpose of writing this statement is to encourage and inspire you to continue on the path you have chosen while traveling. You should make sure you are equipped to handle a range of unforeseen situations since you never know when something unexpected will happen to you. Given this information, you should be encouraged and driven to continue in the same way. These intriguing developments, which might include important discoveries, unanticipated changes in the course of events and breakthrough discoveries, are ones. You won't want to miss so. Be ready for an exciting adventure full of turns and twists that will have you guessing all the way to the very end. There will always be circumstances in life that cause us to feel uneasy and nervous, but it's imperative that you never give up faith. That things will get better for you soon and the infinitely compassionate and intelligent almighty creator of the universe states that you are worth so much right now that it is indescribable. It comes as a big surprise to realize that time seems to pass through its cycles somewhat faster as we become older. It is unexpected to witness this happening. His holy message emphasizes again how holy and important you are. Gently reminding you that you are a special and singular person who is worthy of respect because of your great value. His comments about you are simply one more proof that you are worthy of respect and decency. It is important to make an effort to be fully present in the moment, fully involved in whatever you are doing and fully aware of your surroundings. 
It is essential that we finish this task time seems to be moving faster than we can recall days, weeks, and months. Appears to be slipping away like sand grains. Time appears to be going by so quickly yet we have no idea where it is gone. If you take the time to slow down and appreciate life's transient pleasures, you may find that you may be happy here. And now it's also crucial to always be polite and considerate to oneself to be mindful and kind with yourself. As you would a close friend recognize and accept your human nature. This will make it easier for you to get through this trying time. 22. 22. It's time for everyone to take a moment to gather their thoughts, try to let go of their worries and believe that God will take care of their needs. Because of the way things are, it's hard not to be both surprised and amazed by how strong and active God is because God is all-powerful. This is the case. Luckily, this skill isn't just for God. Everyone on earth can use it. We should all be happy about this. I believe that this should make all of us feel great. This means that there are many great reasons to be hopeful about the future. Type 2222 If you want this blessing. People often feel useless and weak when they have to deal with problems that seem too big for them to handle on their own. All of the problems seem impossible to solve, which is why this is the case. It's important to remember, though, that this is not the first time something like this has happened. Even though we may feel like we are the only ones going through what we are going through at times, it is important to remember that this is never the case when we are having a hard time. It may seem like we are all by ourselves, but the truth is that we are never really alone. The holiness of God's presence is always with us, ready to give us the power and confidence. We need to overcome any obstacle, whatever we need. These forces are always ready to give us strength and confidence. We need to win if we have his unwavering help and direction. We might find the inner strength to keep going, even when things get tough, therefore because of what happened. We are much better and more capable than we were before. Therefore, let us find comfort in the fact that we are never really alone, and that with God's help, we can handle any tough situation that comes our way. Another thing that should give us hope is the thought that we can handle any problem that life throws at us. Also, let us find comfort in the fact that we are never really alone. People who are tired and weak can get their strength back from the Almighty. And people who are open and useless can get stronger because they have so many skills. The all-powerful being can make any of these things happen. Today's message comes to you directly from God. I have come to tell you that I am here to assist you in any way that I can. I have come to tell you that I am available to assist you in any way that I can please do not hesitate to contact me. If you need anything, because I know that you will never abandon me and that you will always be there for me, I have come to you today in the hope that you would shield me from the evil that is all around me. I am aware that you will never leave me 
and that you will always be there for me. I am aware that you will never abandon me and that you will always be there for me when I need you. I am conscious of the fact that you will never give up on me and that you will never fail to provide support for me. In times of crisis, others have taken advantage of your generosity in a variety of different ways. Despite the fact that you have a kind disposition and others have taken advantage of your kindness. This is due to the fact that you have a kind nature. God is in control of your surrounding environment. He is aware of the chaos in your life. He is aware of the deepest and most intimate secrets you conceal. He is aware of the challenges you face after getting this far, so you shouldn't just give up now. It seems like the tide is going to turn in your favor very soon. If you keep fighting, you'll eventually win. You shouldn't just give up right now and walk away. Keep your cool and have faith that I will come up with a solution that you'll find it to be satisfying. When we finished working on it because you are the God of all the possibilities, I have faith that you will figure out a way to solve the issue that we are having. I want to express my gratitude to God for all that He has done for me in the past and everything that He will continue to do for me in the future. I adore you so much, and I want to tell you how much I appreciate everything that you have done for me. If you believe in God, type Jesus is Lord. Prayer should always be our first choice if we are feeling any kind of pain, regardless of whether the pain is physical, emotional, or spiritual. Since it is one of the most powerful alternatives we have available to us as followers of Christ. This is true regardless of whether the pain is physical, emotional, or spiritual. Your activities are being guided by me, and although you might not be able to comprehend how, I have an incredible plan for the remainder of your life this does not change the fact that I am directing your actions in any way, shape, or form. Despite the fact that the opponent has begun attacking them, I am aware that someone is attempting to cause you harm. But the fact that this is happening is only a sign that you are getting closer and closer to accomplishing your goals and making progress. I am aware that someone is attempting to cause you harm. You have my utmost admiration and pride. Believe that everything is possible that you already have all you need to do. Incredible things that will genuinely make your heart and soul sing and that there is no upper limit to what you are capable of accomplishing. Believe that whatever you can imagine is feasible, that you already have all you require, and that everything is already within your reach. Have faith that anything can be accomplished. Consider the possibility that anything might happen. He's going to provide you boundless advantages, larger smiles, financial breakthroughs, and opportunities, all of these things, are what He is going to bring you. These things are what God promises to send, and He will send them to you. God has made it very plain to you that you are the one who will bring unending health, money, and success to your family, and that this is something that He is looking forward to seeing happen. Additionally, God has made it clear that He is eager for this to occur. 
you will be able to anticipate unexpected financial advantages as soon as the sun rises tomorrow morning and you will be able to do so immediately as soon as the sun rises. You will be able to accomplish this. I am aware that this is most likely not something you were anticipating, but I want you to know that I will always keep an eye out for you. Please do not worry about anything because I will watch out for you. I beseech you, do not be bothered about anything. Please, for the love of God, put a stop to all of your troubles. God has communicated with us and informed us that I am providing you with the resources and the knowledge that you need in order to achieve financial freedom. You must have faith in me in order to continue with your ambitions. We have received a message from God informing us that I am providing you with the resources and the knowledge that you need in order to achieve financial freedom. Don't allow the quantity of work you believe you need to do cause you to feel overworked. You've already accomplished a great lot, and your accomplishments so far have been very amazing. You've accomplished a lot already. You've already experienced a great deal of success. You should give yourself a few seconds to take some deep, calm breaths once you've managed to return your attention to the present moment before moving on. Take some time to think back on the accomplishments and the distance you've covered in your life to this point. You should deliberately try to overcome your tendency to always be excessively critical of oneself. God commands us to cease acting with such gratitude toward Him and His creation. It is imperative that you put an end to such foolish behavior as soon as possible. It would be better for you to take a few long, quiet breaths, unwinded and have more faith in me than to continue to strain yourself the way you are now. If you do think highly of me, where does that confidence come from? The best part of my day is you. When it comes to providing assistance, you can count on me to provide and I won't disappoint. Dear God, I encourage you to be patient with me as I wait for your perfect timing and get ready for what you have in store for me. I'm trying to get ready for what you have in store for me, so please understand. Kindly consider my request and grant me your favor. Please listen to my request and grant me the virtue of patience. 111 God wants us to have such unwavering faith in His purpose that we don't let things go wrong to even somewhat bother us when things don't go as planned. Type 111 if you believe. The window of heaven opened and God poured out everything God said to my precious child. I am going to open up the windows of heaven and pour out everything you have been waiting and praying for. In other words, God will hear all of your requests and respond to each and every one of them. God said to my precious child, I am going to open up the window windows of heaven and pour out everything you have been waiting and praying for. God said to my precious child, I am going to open up the windows of heaven and pour out everything you have been waiting and praying for throughout your life. I have supported you through every challenge that has arisen. I am available to you who have trust in me, says the Lord, for I am the one who has supported you from the beginning. 
You've come to the point where you don't need my help anymore at this moment. I will continue to watch out for you and your family and blessing as well as everyone else you care about. I have been doing so. I promise to always be available to you. I have been making an effort to stay up to date on everything that has happened to you in the last few days. I pledge to use every effort to make this a reality for you. I am here to assist you in overcoming any barrier, keeping you from reaching success in life to help you thrive in life. I'm here. Furthermore, I am aware that at this same moment you could be afflicted with a disease or experiencing significant agony. I regret learning that you are experiencing this, but do not despair just yet. I am the great healer who has come to assist you. I'll be here to help you along as it develops your tale is turning into one that is full of joy, incredible happenings and good fortune for its protagonists because the Word of God became alive. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God, said, I am about to transition you from overwhelm to overflowing. Nothing in your life can ever put you in danger or cause you to suffer in any way. Nothing ever can because I am your safe haven. My angels are going to be at your side. No matter what, protecting you and everything that you do and keeping any negative energy from getting near you. No matter where you are or what you are doing, you will be protected no matter where you go or what you are do, they will be with you. They'll be there for you no matter what, no matter what. They'll never leave your side with the knowledge that I will always hold you in the warmth and security of my arms. You may unwind and let go of your concern. I strongly recommend that you seize this chance while you go about your daily activities. Remember that wonderful surprises are on their way to you and anticipate receiving them when they do. Remind yourself as you go about your day that amazing surprises are headed your way. God views humans as more than just toys, and he does not think that they should be used as such to retain the appropriate level of decorum for the circumstances. Since I have given each person's experience the same amount of care that I have given the experiences of the other persons, it is vital that you pay close attention to what they have to say. I never intended for you to be better than everyone else, nor did I ever want you to be. I never intended for you to achieve any of these goals. I will always adore and admire you. Please like and subscribe to our channel to show your support for our Christian community. There have been rumors that if you concentrate on being grateful for what you now have, you could better position yourself to be glad for everything that is ahead for you in the future. Good fortune is currently flowing in your direction. It's not going to be long. God is aware of the challenges you experience in life and says, I know the struggles you face but trust in me to heal what needs to be healed and to bless you and your loved ones abundantly. God knows the difficulties you are facing at this particular moment and time, he adds, I know the struggles you face. I am well aware that the path your life takes may present you with tough circumstances at different times 
and that you may face a great deal of hardship and adversity along the route. But remember that I'm always here for you and that I won't ever leave you behind. Remember these two things constantly. I humbly ask that you remember this information at all times as you go about your day. Keep this in the back of your mind at all times. That is what I hereby declare to be true. You should always remember that I am in charge of everything, even if there may be times when you feel like you have little control over the course of your life. God has given the following advice. My plans for you are always greater than what you have planned for yourself. God has given the following warning. My plans for you are always greater than what you have planned for yourself. I will imbue you with the strength to overcome any obstacle that comes your way and the courage to rise to each difficulty that you encounter. Additionally, I will give you the bravery you need to go beyond any obstacles that come your way. Furthermore, I will imbue you with the courage necessary to overcome every challenge that comes your way. Furthermore, I will instill in you the determination required to overcome every obstacle that comes your way. God has left us with no choice but to accept the fact that those around us will mock and mistreat us because of the love we have for Him. Never forget that I am here to support your bravery, your fortitude, and your will to keep doing what you are doing. Please, I implore you not to give up on the possibility that I will be successful in my endeavors. There's always a chance that after what seems like a never-ending period of suffering, there may eventually be a moment of complete joy. I promise to make up for your steadfast dedication by helping you reach your goals and become more successful. I'll do this by giving you additional strength. The best part of my day is you. If you believe, type Jesus is Lord. You will move from feeling as though you were drowning in options to having an excess of options available to you in the not-too-distant future. There will be this change now that you've reached this point in your tale. It's starting to take on a tone that conveys luck and good fortune. It's truly rather wonderful how things have turned out that you will be blessed in the next phase of your life. If you put your confidence in things that are not visible, if you have more faith than doubt, and if you go forward into this new chapter, God, I pray for the perseverance to get me through this challenge and the wisdom to see the insights and blessings hidden inside. Please listen to my request and grant it. I beg you to hear my request and grant them both in all humility. I implore you to grant my request furthermore. I humbly implore you to provide me with endurance. I need to finish my journey. I pray that you would direct my words, deeds, and thoughts so that I can continue on the path that leads to love and peace. Please listen to my request and grant it. Amen. You need to have made significant progress in the great majority of the activities you have engaged in throughout your life by the end of this month. By the end of the month, this ought to have been the situation. 
you're going to realize that for the most part, things are going far more smoothly than you could have ever imagined. Actually, everything is moving much more smoothly than you could have imagined. At this time, their performance is far better than you could have ever imagined God is speaking to and saying, I need you to trust me. I have supported you and been by your side during every challenge that you have faced. I've been talking to you about this throughout our chat. I have made it clear that I need your confidence. I promise to always meet all of your requirements and I will do it to the highest standard. Type Amen to manifest. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more God's messages.